Hi there, I'm Rachel and I am a breast cancer patient. I just finished eight rounds of AC and Taxol and I wanted to do a little makeup tutorial to help my fellow cancer patients on how to look fabulous. So here we go. The first tip I would recommend is to moisturize as much as you can. This is fragrance free Burt's Bees. This is what I use but you can use anything. Um, I just use fragrance free for my face because it's gotten super sensitive from the cancer treatments and I use a lot so I end up putting um, quite a bit on my face and my head every day a few times a day. I used to moisturize before putting on before um, putting makeup on before I was sick but I never use this much and so I definitely use more than I ever did. I have a little cold right now so I'm a little red underneath here so I'm also going to put a little petroleum jelly bag. This is from um, True Match, L'Oreal, from the help from the drugstore, Target, wherever. Um, so I'm going to just apply that. I've gotten these raccoon eyes from the Chemo. Makes me look gaunter and more sickly. So I never, ever, ever use this much foundation. I would normally just put a little concealer, under eye concealer, and mascara on to go out. That was the extent of my everyday makeup ritual. But now if I'm going out on the town, eating somebody for dinner, on those rare days that I go out, I want to look a little bit healthier. So I really put it all over my skin now. I also am just going to use a little concealer, another True Match, underneath my eyes just to make them brighter. And I do have a little blemish there. So we're going to just conceal that. Now that we've finished our, um, our moisturizer and our foundation, we're going to start with eyebrows and eyelashes. So here we go. Um, this is a great uh, gel. It's called Brian Joseph's Lash and Brow Conditioning Gel. One of my friends told me about it, my cancer friends. It's fabulous when you're going through chemo. If you can get it at the beginning of chemo, it's great. Um, what you do is you just put it on your eyebrows and your eyelashes and I don't know if it works or not, but I managed to save most of my eyebrows from using it and about 15 eyelashes per eye, which isn't a lot, but they are there and you'll see it later on. And I'm going to show you a technique on how to make yourself look like you have eyelashes. So we're going to start off with our eyebrows. I'm really not good at eyebrows, but we're going to try. <laughs> um, so what I do is I start at where my eyebrows used to come and just do it very lightly up and then down at the arch. Okay, now I have eyebrows again. Hmm. Now since I'm doing a going out look today, I'm going to use some glittery, glittery, glittery eyelash, eyebrow what is this called? You know what I'm talking about. Chemo brain, it makes your head not work. <laughs> Eyeshadow, that's what it is. And we're going to go up and down. We're going to cover the entire thing. And then we're going to go, it doesn't have to be fancy when you're going out. And it should be easy. Go up and down and just sort of back and forth. This is called the windshield wiper technique. Let me go back to the other ones because I had a lot on that eye. Windshield wiper. Go up. So you have both eyes. Now 
with glittery eye shadow. Fabulous. So this is my little technique that I have learned for the process to make myself look like I have eyelashes. Now I'm going to start with um, just a liquid waterproof eye eyeliner. Liquid waterproof. The reason for the liquid is that it just doesn't fade away so it looks the liquid and the waterproof it doesn't fade away and it looks like a high gloss so it kind of makes you look like you have eyelashes so here is the technique that I use get all the residual off and I do it just like a vintage kind of look here so I start at the very now since you don't have eyelashes you're gonna probably smudge it all over your eyes it sucks but we're gonna just do one eye and then I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna do the other one because this one always messes up um, but you don't have your eyelashes anymore to hold your eyebrow pencil your 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 um, eyeliner pencil so you have to be really careful and diligent about doing it so here we are. Start off at the point here and you're going to start building it up. It doesn't matter if you go off the eye, the eye um, off the eyelash for now because you're going to actually make it pretty wide. So, you're going to build it higher than you normally would if you had eyelashes. This is a really old, I don't even know what kind it is, um, but you're really going to build it up. And don't worry if you mess it up because you're going to build it so high up. You can just build it higher and higher. And then you want to... The problem is, is that you see all of the bald spots with your um, missing eye lashes. So you want to just get in there, get in as close as you can keeping going back and forth. Now at the end, I'm just going to give it a wing kind of look because I'm going out and it's going to look fun. So I'm going to just wing it because, you know, why not look like a pinup model while you're going through cancer treatments? And we're just going to match that up. You don't have to go that far out. I said I am not a makeup artist, so I mess this part up a lot. But you can always just add more makeup, concealer, whatever, to get that. Okay. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Okay, now you have a vintage kind of winged look here. I'm going to do the other eye. But to finish it off, I'm going to actually put mascara on the few eyelashes I have left. Take care of that little. It takes a little bit of practice just because you really don't have any eyelashes to help you anymore. But it looks pretty fabulous and 
Unless somebody's really looking, they're not going to see that you don't have eyelashes anymore. Okay, now I have finished both of my eyes with just the eye, um, with just the waterproof eyeliner. And you don't have to go as dramatic as I do, but I just figured, you know, why not? It's this a going out look. You can do much smaller um, triangles, but I find the, the thicker the eyeliner, the less likely people are going to notice that you don't have eyelashes. So that's why I put these very thick um, eyeliner um, eyeliner wings on. Now, um, I'm just going to put some Revlon lip liner on. And then what I'm going to just do to kind of scale it all down is just a little, use a little lip gloss. I'm going to use a very pale lip gloss and it's going to make my lips look super shimmery. And it's going to detract from all the makeup I'm using on my, on my eyes. To bring it, scale it down and make it look a little bit more natural, even though I'm going a little crazy. Now, you can put some blush on. I do the old school lipstick blush because I ran out of blush. Probably shouldn't do it this way, but this is how my grandma used to do it. She'd pinch her cheeks and put a little lipstick on her cheeks. This is the apple. And voila, you are done with your makeup. So the finishing touch is a wig. I have these bob wigs in every color, or blonde, um, brunette red, and black. So depending, I usually use the black at night if I'm going out. Um, the blonde I usually use for work. And the red, just an everyday kind of fun, if I want to be more fun. So I just put it on. The bobs are great because I have kids and they pull on my hair. Let's give it a little brush. And I just got a synthetic wig at the wig shop. This is a $50 wig. It's the cheapest one you can find. It's synthetic hair. I use a wig synthetic hair shampoo and there you go. You can modify this look with darker lipstick, um, a traditional, more traditional um, eyeshadow, um, but since it's a going out look, I did a more dramatic eyeliner and eyeshadow and um, eyeliner, eyebrow makeup. So it looks a little bit more dramatic, looks fun, fresh, and nobody really notices that I have cancer when I go out and look this way. And I look completely healthy and different than I did um, when I'm bald and no makeup and no moisturizer. So it's really fun and a fresh little kind of vintage uh, pin-up do. And so it's fun if you feel like you're a different person, which is something that you kind of need when you're going through cancer treatments is to feel fun and sexy and young again. So um, those are my tricks. I hope you liked them. And keep keeping on and stay strong, my cancer buddies out there. Um, we're just going to fight the good fight. And why not go out and look fabulous while you're going through it? So um, good luck, everyone.